What's up, Dex? What? What's up, guys? It's Dexter's 1984. I'm back with another um, guide for building rooftops, and I can't figure out my own name compared to you guys, but never mind. So we're going to show you some simple pitched roofs. I've got Roach on camera, and I've got Rebel Boy to help me build the other side of the roof, make the videos nice and quick. So let's get straight to it. So over here, we've got some basic medieval builds. So we're just going to throw on this first one a simple pitched roof to begin with. We're just going to make it overhang at least by one. Pull it right out. There you go. From behind. One block there. One block there. So that you, all you're doing is you go right out to the outer edge of your building. And what you're going to do is you're going to place an upside down stair block on each end. And then run your rooftop in behind it, like that. The reason why you hang it over is because you get this nice finished edge. I've seen so many people just make a pitched rooftop without this finished edge. And I don't like them, purely because they don't look very well. But with this little added feature here, I think it just adds a nice cap to the, uh, to the roof space. So I think that's me running there, just wait for Rebel Boy to catch up. I'm kind of slow when it comes to the roof. Oh, you're alright. Don't worry about it. Add logs in the middle, one up, one down, and then just put half slabs on them to stop anything spawning up there. And as Rebel Boy is pulling that side up, what you want to do is at the top you want to place one upside down and then one the right way around, just to make the ends look neat and, neat and tidy. You can really use any block you like, but I try and make it match in with the uh, the windows downstairs and just fill in the space that's there. On bigger rooftops you can uh, make a log pattern like we did on one of the earlier videos, just check those out. I don't think I've missed a block there. Yeah, I missed one. Okay, so what you need to do here, Rebel, is you've got to just uh, put your upside down stair on each side. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so there's your first pitch roof. Or uh, your second one. Nearly the same idea as the first, so when you pull it out so it overhangs. Except this time, we're going to come up by a block each time we go up. So we're going to first one requires two two logs like this. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and place a normal block of stairs on top, from behind, upside down stair on each end. On top of that, we're going to place a single log line, like this. But this is really to just give the roof some height and add an increase to the pitch. Now, if you add more and more on, you begin to make it look like uh, steampunk, which just seems to be a popular design at the moment. But just really, by changing the amount of logs, you can really change how a roof looks. Uh, run this one in. Nearly there now. We run along, side down. So we don't forget that stair in there. Again, finishing up upside down, right way around.
Driver boy's finishing up there, I'll just stay. Windows in here. Window. Stay here. Help from guest is finished up. Get onto this third roof. Yep. Yeah. Log along here. Okay, there's your second pitch type roof. And finally, this one that looks a bit more like st steampunk. So, let's say you just increase the amount of logs between each floor to give you more of a pitched roof. So, we go like this, like we did before, except this time we're going to go three. One, two, three. Upside down stair each end. Oops. And then up by two. One, two. Obviously, alternating your materials can uh, help how the roof looks. For the demonstration purposes of this one, we're just sticking with the two materials we've chosen at the beginning, which is spruce wood logs and stone bricks. Ooh. Bugs are on the way. Bar straight down the middle. This one will go slightly different, and we'll go ahead and put the stairs on the top instead. Yeah, another way to finish these the end caps of this uh, style roof off is to actually. Put stone bricks on the ends here instead, right here, and then change this bottom one. There, I don't know why, but I'd move stairs out of my inventory somehow. Probably dropped it on the floor. Again, remembering you want to cap the edge of your stairs, one upside down, one right round, one the right way round. My tongue works again. You see there's the two different styles right next to each other. Replace these. Right here, just so we've got everything matching so you can see a complete style. 
this one out. So again, in the centre of that one, you could either add windows or do something different. But you can see how the increased pitch there gives you that completely different look. Thanks for joining us. See our next video, and uh, we hope to see you again. Hope these helped.